In this video we're going to go back to a very hot and sticky July. We're going to talk about this centrifugal oil filter that's just poured out diesel all over me. See you in a bit. Yet another hot and humid day here in Quebec. So we thought we'd do something hot and humid cleaning. It's not a very nice job. But anyway, somebody has to do it. And talking of cleaning, uh, again, good old JP and I, we put our heads together about getting a centrifuge for our parts washer. Parts washing fluid is very expensive. However, I did put a, a diesel filter on mine and it blocked up within two weeks. And it's not very good. So what it needed was a centrifuge. Just like a TD5 we did a few weeks ago. So I bought one. And here it is in bits. I'll show you how it goes back together again. Ooh, there there. <coughs> it's a little canister. Like this. This is a top cover. And there's this base with an O-ring. And you've got this spinny thing here. And underneath there there's two jets. So what happens is pressurised oil, diesel, whatever comes through here gets up through this tube through these two little holes here. I think they're offset. Yeah, they're offset. And in here is a relief valve, so if the pressure's too high, it dumps oil back into here. Now, this is, like I said, this is the spinny thing. It's got an O-ring in. But there is a defect with this bit. We found out yesterday when we were trying to run this with compressed air. Um, if you ever get one of these, just check this piece here. Uh, JP worked out it was like 30 thousandth of an inch, because he always works in inches, oversized. So he took off 20 just so it would clinch tight. And what it's supposed to do is, is as this is spinning round, it's supposed to stop dirt getting into the filtery bit down the bottom. I don't know if it does that or not. And then there's a cover. So what we found out, when, when this nut was on and this washer, let me put it on. Now, JP, what did he do? He put, oh, put this onto here and he put compressed air into here, but it was blowing out of the seal here. So that plastic piece uh, is holding this off. Now it isn't, it's nice now because you've got to clean this out. So, anyway, that is basically it. Now, I bought this for $80. It's a bit of a bargain because if you go on AliExpress, Alibaba, whatever it is, I've never seen them cheaper than uh, $80. I have seen them very expensive. There was one company in the US, I think it's Dieselcraft, who was selling these for $599. Admittedly, it had a base, which I'm coming to in a minute, because all you get is this and this. And then you've got your top cover to go on. Like this, tight, and then you've got an, an additional clamping ring, which is 10 millimeter. Okay, but you don't get a base. This is a problem. So digging around on the internet, we found an image of what a base should look like, <laughs> and I was wandering around JP shop and found a scrap piece of aluminium. Oh, I said, hey. Look, that's what it's like. Can we turn it? So you just put a groove in there for an O-ring, tapped out four holes, made a little funnel so that the waste, well, the cleanish oil will come out of here. And that then bolts onto the bottom of there, like that, you see. Now, you're going to be asking yourself, because it puzzled me for quite a long time, why is there a second hole here? Well, in some of these outfits, they sell a little compressor a little um, electric compressor. It's only 3 psi, but it's enough to pressurise this container to force oil back into your engine, because this was a, a device to sit on top of your engine, have a tapped outlet, inlet coming from an outlet on your block, into here, spin, 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 cleans all the carbon out, and then it pushes back. But they put a little um, place here to put 3 psi pressure in, 
because once the oil pressure inside of here has gone through its centrifuge it loses its pressure so it can back up so they've got a little thing for pushing it down but we're not going to use anything like that well <laughs> not yet probably but it's a device for um, like cleaning liquids even better so I'm going to test it and see how it goes but I just wanted to show you that if you do get this kit you don't necessarily have to get the base you can make that look it's really easy look and the funnel, funnely bit just goes like onto there so it just it's just a collector that's all easy isn't it now mounting it is going to be interesting but that was just a little thing so far I'll show you how I go but I, I'm using my parts wash as a, a paint table at the moment so I can't really use it but as soon as I get it done I'll let you know see ya mm -hmm.